Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will understand about the payment end to end flow. What happens uh, when a payment is initiated from a, for example, you take it as a, a mobile banking channel, right? We generally uh, fill up some details of the receiver customer. Uh, which are generally the FAC code, the account number, name and branch and description at, at, at times, right? So, uh, but behind the scenes, what all things happens, right? That is what we need to understand and it is all about the payment, uh, you know, uh, end-to-end -end flow. So, let's take an example and understand what all things come into picture when a payment is initiated, all right? So let's get started. Starting from a customer, let's say uh, the customer is there. Uh, customer, let's say Ram. Now Ram has this mobile banking channel that is nothing but a mobile banking app. Let's say it is a city. He will initiate a transaction by filling all those details required. So what are the details basically uh, you require to transfer a fund? Basically, you will require this uh, account name, right? And then you will give this uh, bank name, IFSC. And then description right so now Ram wants to transfer a fund of let's say thousand dollar to his friend right uh, let's I, I'm taking a basic example where uh, he's transferring within the nation itself so I'm not taking example of the international super payments here so simple payment flow now Ram wants to transfer a fund of rupee thousand to uh, dollar thousand to his friend Sam who is living uh, in the USA itself. So once he initiates a, a transaction, uh, it can be from any channel. I took example of this mobile banking channel, right? There can be like a, a net banking channel, right? And there can be like from the direct banking uh, channel where uh, exactly where you go to the bank. The, branch and um, request them to initiate a transaction for on behalf of you which generally what happens is you go and deposit money and they will just transfer the fund into your account or maybe into your uh, friend's account there are multiple uh, channels right now which uh, can be used to initiate a transaction but the best and easiest example i could take is the mobile uh, net banking channel i am using this uh, banking application mobile Android application to initiate a fund transfer transaction. Now, Ram has uh, uh, initiated a transaction. Now, now there there are some set of validations that needs to be done before it reaches to uh, Sam, right? So, what all different uh, sets comes into picture? We'll understand that one. So now, once he has initiated a transaction. Now from this his uh, mobile net banking app, a message will flow down to his bank. Let's say his bank is city since he is using, right? So this is his bank and he initiated a transaction. now. When he initiates a transaction, some sort of uh, messages are released from the app and it reaches to the Citibank server, right? So, some sort of message. We will not understand in deep about the messages, what are the messages it will reaches over here. Because this is a, uh, uh, again, a huge topic which we will take in the coming futures. So, now once uh, Citibank receives this message request, right? Citibank does some sort of validation, right? Uh, before sending it to whom? Before sending it to the clearing and settlement mechanism. C 
CSM. We say it for the clearing and settlement mechanism. Clearing and settlement mechanism. So here some sort of validation is done. Not here I would say. Here exactly validation is done. So different kind of validation uh, it is done you know. Um, the different kind of validation it can be balance check and then it can be risk validation date validation message format validation and then uh, account validation and then uh, it can have this uh, receiver uh, detail validation duplicate validation and so on there are like so many validation that happens at the bank level before it uh, sends the message to the clearing and settlement mechanism so here again one message is sent uh, from city bank to clearing and settlement mechanism now clearing and settlement mechanism I uh, have already uh, uh, uploaded one video to understand what exactly clearing a settlement does but uh, to brief you and start try the clearing a settlement mechanism uh, other one who are responsible for you to transfer the fund from uh, uh, when the bank initiates when a bank requests so uh, clearing a settlement uh, uh, are generally handled by the local government uh, uh, central banks for example in India it's a uh, RBI in uh, US it's a uh, Federal Reserve since we are using um, US payment right so we will uh, take this for the Federal Reserve and this is uh, the central bank and under this there will be a clearing mechanism uh, which will be taken care of in terms of different it is basically a clearing mechanism is nothing but a system which uh, uh, undertakes and takes the responsibility to make sure the transaction happens between one entity to another entity by doing some uh, calculations uh, shortings you know positive sorting and negative sortings and they exchange the amounts so it can be uh, in CSM uh, in, in USA let's say uh, we had a uh, Fed wire for example Fed wire so it is similar to the RTGS in India right so now uh, once they do all sort of validation uh, it, it again involves so many uh, sort of validations uh, now validating the message right whether the message format is correct or not right again date checks right receiver uh, bank uh, if it is active or not and then um, and so many other validations uh, they also check whether uh, city banks, city banks uh, available balance is enough to initiate the transaction, right? And, and so many other validation is done by the clearing and settlement mechanism. There is a detailed video on it which uh, you can go ahead and watch out. 
Now, what next happens after this? Uh, once clearing settlement mechanism says like, okay, all those validation are correct. Initially, all this uh, validation is done at the city. The city says like, okay, all those validations are correct. And it goes to CSM and they will do some sort of validations. If those things are all okay. Now, next thing is the clearing and settlement mechanism will also now again send a message to let's say a uh, city ram also send uh, to standard charter bank us a standard charter bank us this is the bank ram is holding account and uh, here sorry this is the bank where siam is holding uh, account so this is siam he will receive thousand dollar because he has initiated with thousand dollar and if there are any sort of charges we'll understand in a different session but uh, just to make you clear uh, without uh, taking much complexity thousand rupees he initiated and he will receive thousand rupees uh, basically at sam's account and he can go ahead and go and check in his uh, app uh, scv app you will see this thousand dollar is available here right uh, again here also uh, when stand center bank uh, receives the payment right there is some sort of validation uh, done here also uh, before it finally you know credits to its customer sam some validation which uh, are basically uh, the risk related and uh, so many other uh, validations which we all understand in the future sessions but once these things are uh, done then they will finally go and credit to the sam's account and this is all about the flow of uh, uh, of a payment right banking payment flow and we'll understand deep about uh, messages and then validations and then this message of when Citibank says to the uh, clearing settlement mechanism and then the message uh, involved here in clearing settlement mechanism and then uh, uh, clearing uh, standard Chartered bank us what are the different validations and then finally uh, what are the different accounting entries that happens uh, here right accounting entries and then here accounting entries and then accounting entries so at each bank label accounting entries happens we will understand deep about those things as well in coming future and yeah that's all thank you for watching out the videos